Hi everyone. Welcome to this week's video for Stencil Saturday. Um, for this design, I, I'm kind of just going to play. Um, I've marked my crossed squares stencil and I'm going to use this cool ruler I got. I actually got the whole set because I really like OGs. Um, these are from Karen Marchetti. They're called the Any Audi OG. And this is the three inch. And it does two different size, not sizes, I don't want to say sizes, styles. So you'll notice that this one's a much wider OG. And then if you use this side, it's a shallower one. So you can like, you can stitch this one and then stitch this shallow one in here. So I wanted to play with these. I haven't really taken the time to play with them too much. And I'm going to start and I'm, the nice, it fits really, it's the perfect, you know, because this is three inches each square is three inches so it's going to work out perfectly i think um, so i'm just going to start here and what i'm going to do is put an og i'm just going to go up here like this and then i'm going to come down over here and then we'll look at it and see what we have there i think i'm going to have to do the sides as well but i'm just going to start with this one right here Mm, actually, I think I want to stitch this outside line too. I should have done that before, sorry. Do that real quick. I hope I don't run out of bobbin thread because I can hear it near the end. That would be just my luck. And then I'm just going to backtrack right here to get where I want to start. Oh, luckily I didn't sew that over. Okay. And if you've not used a ruler like this, so it kind of has these little divots. And that's where you kind of hook um, around your hopping foot. Put that right there. Um, and then I'm just, there's lines on the rulers that, you know, there's a little line right here, so I can line it up to land right there. Oh, I need a sticky thing. I like to always have sticky little things on my rulers because I hate when they slide. I want them to not move. So let me stick these on here. I'm sorry. I was not prepared. Good. On there. Oh. Okay, there we go. So I just lined this little line up so I know that's where I'm going to land. And I'm going to stitch along here. So when I get to that point, then I can just slide this up for this next one. Again, I'm looking to make sure my little registration lines are in the right place. direction again same thing just gonna line up this little line right on there and hope I can hold it you know I think everyone knows you know my best direction when I'm doing rollers is always on the other side I guess it's kind of like anything like my feathers are the same one side's always better than the other it's gonna work the same way I'm just gonna slide it down here maybe I should hold nah. Right along that shape. Slide it down. And then I'm just going to scoot over here. And do the same thing again. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've finished those, yeah, I do see that I needed to do them here. So I'm just gonna do the one side over here and over here. So I'll go ahead and speed that up so you don't have to watch that whole process. Okay, now that I've finished those, I don't know, I'm looking at this, I'm feeling like I really want to stitch these lines right here to kind of break it up. So I think I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stitch these lines. Hmm. Now I feel like I have to do the other direction. So we let's just see, because I could have just made a giant mistake, but we'll see here. I'm gonna actually do um, the ones that are in the stencil, but I'm also gonna do between these as well. And I'm gonna be able to do that because I can just line up a quarter some of my rulers, um, you know, so I'm gonna stitch on the intersection right there. Yeah, I think I definitely am gonna like this one better. Well, I wanted to do this line too. Or do I? I do. taking some time to play is always a good thing because you know you can see exactly all the different things that you can do and I forgot this line I actually think I like it a lot. Let me get rid of these lines. Okay, now that I have gotten rid of these lines, I actually really like this. It has like a really, um, I don't know, like a kind of mod retro feel to it, I think. Let me see if I can turn, I'll turn this light off. See what I mean? It's like this really, I don't know. I like it, a, I really like it a lot. Although I can see where I slipped some with the ruler. Um, but overall, I think this is very cool. And I think I can see a lot of different things. I think this would be awesome, right? If you had a wide border and you need something in there, but you don't want it to be too terribly, you know, densely quilted, this would work great. But looking at this, I also see some places where like when I look here, I kind of see an hourglass in here. But yet when I look at this one, I see this square with the OG in the center. Where, you know, if you wanted to go crazy with a little more quilting, what I would probably choose to do is come in here and put um, like quarter inch line around this because it would fit between the OG and the line I like to kind of each one of these squares a little frame 
would be very cool. Um, the other option might be once you, if you add that little quarter inch frame right there, you could, because you're gonna have to travel. So like you would have to travel up here, come over, do this little line right here. And you're gonna touch this. At this point, I might actually come in and fill in this teeniest, tiniest little spot because it wouldn't take very long, it's so small. And then add this frame, come over here, fill in this tiny little spot. It could be very cool. I might actually uh, do that on a couple of these before I take a picture of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Bye.